What is up? I'm Wanda Turtle, and today we are doing a break for our good friend and patron, Richard Omega. Uh, we got two, we're going to be opening up two of the boxes you see in the background, the new Crown Zenith, Zacian, and Zamazenta box. Uh, so we got two more right here. We're going to crack it open and get started. All right, the product is open. Let's take a look at first the promos. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we're using uh, a new setup and using this Droid Cam app. Uh, setting is actually pretty good. I'll have to take a look, closer look at it later. Let me grab a penny sleeve for this. And some of my thoughts are, actually, this is a pretty solid product. Uh, Crown Zine has obviously been out for a while, so I always think it's weird when it's so tapered. But at the same time, you know, if the good stuff is coming later on, obviously there's like, oh, well, people need to buy it. This one does look pretty off-center, but if we are looking to grade both, we'll just put this one in penny sleeve as well. Uh, let's see, also comes with some pins. The pins aren't bad. Oh, I'm loving this autofocus. But uh, I don't know, I feel like the the dog, the shield and sword dog, I mean, as far as like the trading card game, I feel like they just didn't give them much of a chance. There's so many variants of them uh, using a lot of times the same art and they're always promo. So I felt like they were never a chase as far as like the new legendaries. These little statues I, I appreciate. I feel like I've never found a good way to display pins. Uh, maybe you can use it with like a cork board or something, um, but the, obviously the statues whatever you want to call them figures they just put them on like your desk or something it does come with sleeves which are pretty cool um i do like the idea of not just etbs getting the sleeves but to be honest these sleeves are just looking as far as their look it's just okay it has a very like 3d um not even like a switch like an older <laughs> older game like a gamecube game kind of vibe uh, so I'm not crazy about the sleeves, but I do like that this product does include different stuff. You know, sometimes they include a play mats, um, but how many play mats do you need? But sleeves are always useful. All right, getting into our first pack. So it's 11 packs total. Ooh, okay, we got a, what is this? Character rare? No, the, the Galarian Gallery. We got a Galarian Gallery right off the bat. Deoxys V Max. That's a pretty sweet hit, if you ask me. Good start to the opening. Gonna mess up my piles real quick. All right, let's take a look at this card. I feel like this is very well centered. I feel like there might be slight nicks in the corner. Um, I feel like as long as there's like one, definitely capable of getting a 10. So we're gonna put this in a penny sleeve. All right, very cool. All right, very solid start. So it's 11 packs per box and I think at MSRP it kind of is like MSRP for 60 uh, so just shy of that kind of like five dollar uh, per pack that you expect for these kind of sets um, all right my piles are all messed up whatever you know we're just gonna sort of all the piles later but it does come with solid um, kind of like add-ins again the sleeves the figures and stuff like that so I feel like is if you're planning on open it I opening them and you kind of like want the promos and such which of course everyone does call Res's experiment this is interesting because it wasn't call Res, i in the online game i did play a call Res card so he's from a while back was he from the from the latest set <laughs> for some reason i'm pretty sure he's from uh previous one of the previous professors or whatever uh, centering isn't great. We're gonna put him in a regular ETB sleeve. I feel like this edge right here, border, a little on the thin side. And uh, since he's a male supporter, probably less desired. Come on. Uh, so yeah, as far I think if you're cracking, I think it's definitely worth. But you know, you got a lot of goodies. But you know, how many of the statues and stuff do you need? And if you just want more packs, then obviously you're better off with some of the other products where it is that solid $5 a pack. Although the hit rate seems pretty good. I think we got something else, like something again. We're gonna go slow with this one. So this, uh, oh, oh my God, <laughs> what the heck? All right, so solid hit, let's put you back here. Um, solid pull rates, although we got some duplication already. Uh, just gonna, you know, Richard Mega, if you wanna, Get this one green. Uh, I feel like this now. The bottom is pretty, is on the thick side. So we're gonna put this in an ETB sleeve as well. So while it's pretty minor, it is shy of that $5 price per pack. And however, the hit rate for this first box is pretty insane. A little bit of duplication. 
Yeah, not the not the duplication you're looking for. All right, nothing there. Still looking to pull on the channel the um, I think it's the Mewtwo fighting like the Charizard. And shoutouts to oh, who is it on the Discord server? I think it's like either Fun in the Bun or I'm Too Big. It was like, oh, let me crack this box open, and search for it, and then he actually managed to pull it, which is awesome. At some point, uh, I'll probably do a mail day video because <clears throat> I do like a lot of the alternate arts, but um, you know, I think the English prices probably haven't settled to where I'm willing to pick them up. But I picked them up uh, in Japanese, so I'm kind of just buying the the slab for the art, um, less so for like the long term or whatever. Uh, but I think it's like pretty solid grade, and I did pick up one of those just to have it because I haven't managed to pull it in Crown Zine. It's already graded, and the price seems pretty reasonable as far as like paying for the art kind of thing. All right, so I'll probably do a mail day uh, for that in the near future. We do got a Galarian Gallery in Paris. I'm not sure where I'm at as far as collecting the whole picture, but that would be that is perfect for like a binder collection kind of thing. And nothing else there. Um, I feel like this thing looks, centering looks okay, but I can't imagine it's a high priority target for grading. In case you didn't see it, um, I think they essentially they made the, they reopened like the bulk tier for PSA for uh, members. So if any patrons wanted to get cards graded, you don't really have to wait for like those specials anymore. It kind of like is permanent for TCG cards. All right, on Mega and Volcarona. Uh, so definitely things have cooled off. What do we got? Four, three solid hits plus a, you know, okay Galarian Gallery out of 11 packs. You know, if we don't pull anything else, it's not terrible. Let's get one more hit. I do think this set is, I'm really optimistic about this set. Kind of like, you know, a couple years down the line. I think what we'll be telling is how long it gets printed. Like, I think you could still buy Shining Fate CTBs, which is says a lot okay Ooh. okay this is the textured energy you could tell because it has the number right there so yeah i would say very solid box no home runs but very solid hit hits and good hit ratio but yeah uh mr omega is like you know i kind of want to keep my boxes sealed so can we do a break I said, absolutely because i agree and actually, you can't see it, but the sleeves on the box on the left, it's like this, the uh, sleeves are upside down. And I feel like, so I do monitor the Pokey Investing subreddit. I, I'm not too crazy about the subreddit, but <clears throat> occasionally there's some good discussions on there. I think it's worth monitoring. And sometimes like, oh, this thing is upside down. Like, is that good or value? <laughs> Increase the value is like, I was thinking to myself, no, it has, oh, I, my opinion, oh, we got Oricorio, almost no impact, but if I was, like, to display it, I'd want it right side up. Uh, Tapu Lele, Oricorio, Galarian, and Galar, right? GG? GG. All right. So hope that's one that you need. I always find Oricorio is kind of a cool Pokemon, very different. I feel like the poses, I'm starting to see, I feel like I keep seeing the same poses, but at least it's different, like, the art style is different. And uh, kind of like what I was saying before with picking up like the Japanese version of some of these, I feel like I don't mind that because actually even the English, probably the English ones aren't too too expensive, but like for some of the more chase ones like the, the Mewtwo and Charizard battling it out, uh, I'm perfectly content just picking up the Japanese ones just so I don't have to pay like the premium for the English. Okay, I didn't even know this was in this set. <laughs> it caused a VMAX from Evolving Skies. Like, am I opening Evolving Skies or something? We're gonna get Moonbreon? <laughs> Alright, a VMAX, we will take it. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought on that symbol, I thought I was like, I saw a star. It's like, wait, is this a promo? Alright, for a second box, so far we got two hits, but uh, still looking for a really juicy one. Riolu into Hatterini. All right, so the hit rate is still here. Hit quality has definitely decreased. Hatterini, very strange Pokemon. I feel like Champion's Path with that uh, Hatterini V card, just like, it, it kind of, not, not put a bad taste, but it was associated with the promo of a set that was 
not good but was very popular or sought after because that was the point where you couldn't find anything so i feel like that leaves a negative connotation for hatterini in my mind at least all right we got another one electivire i wonder if there's is there like any kind of lore for like the um i feel like this oh god <laughs> another VMAX. okay the hits are here <laughs> Another regular VMAX. I do like this Electivire art. And what is, is there any kind of lore between this, the long standing rivalry between Electivire and Elect, Electabuzz, Magmar? And I'm not sure if rivalry still, but they're always, I feel like they're often associated with each other. This one, let's just take a look. I'm not sure this is a high priority target, but I do feel like the centering is there. Uh, I don't want to see any whitening. So that's something we're thinking. Graded, I think it would score well. Yeah, if you want this graded, sure, but <laughs> I would suggest no. And the center is out there anyway. But yeah, what's like another one? Pins like, actually, Pinsir and Heracross weren't even in the same era, but at least in the show, you know, I think they kind of had a rival. I'm not sure if it's long term, but yeah, I feel like Electabuzz and Magmar are always associated with each other. All right, we got still a handful of packs. Let's get something big for Mr. Omega. As always guys, if you do want to support the channel, like and subscribe, easiest way to do so. We got a regular Reverse Energy and then a Lycanroc. We got five packs remaining. It does like, you know, make for, product is not cheap at $60 MSRP uh, and a little bit less packs than you would expect. Um, but it does make for a nice opening. We got a Soul Rock. Getting a bunch of the nice to have Galarian Galleries, but not exactly what we're looking for. In the Soul Rock. Let's save the energy. I'm going to do so real quick. But yeah, so in summary, if people are carrying care about what my opinion is of the product i think it's a great product for open one but then if you do want to crack packs get something else get that five extra pack in there for your for your opening pleasure i do think it's a solid product long term but anything crown zenith uh it's such a pleasure to open but it'll just it's going to be entirely determined by you know, how long is this set in print if it's if we're Two years from now and this product is still available on like on pokemon center or like you know big big box stores and stuff like that then obviously less so what is this the dnc yeah dnc so tons of these galarian galleries Ooh, okay at least um i do like this eevee i feel like the art style is different i mean eevee there's so many promos but this one is pretty cute you even got a cool rainbow in the background i think it's a nice nice eevee art solid one let's just take a look at the back hmm I feel like the bottom left and i think it's not a rare enough card to where it's worth it to get the nine so etp sleeve you go all right one last pack hopefully we can really hit it out of the park box number two hit rate i think is even better but you got a couple v maxes that are kind of like reprints and uh, a bunch of uh, a good number of galarian galleries but none of the textured ones so far i think the biggest hit would be you know, actually, so I was like, yeah, I think definitely the Deoxys and, oh, we got two packs left. Uh, we did get two, not one, but two supporters, but they were the same. And it's just a call rest. All right, well, we got a Nessa. I do like that card. I'm optimistic, or, I don't know, I feel like this English version got, uh, it's just like, you know, not too hard to, ooh. Okay, well, we got a, the reverse, rare, and a Rotom. <laughs> Too many of these um, reprint hits. Oh yeah, the Nessa, I am kind of, uh, I have a, I think two of like the Japanese box. If that thing was like a full art, I think like that box would be a home run, but because it's, you know, just a regular art with a printed signature, uh, maybe it won't do as good as I was hoping. All right, last pack, we're gonna slow roll it. Wulu, Shinx, Pancham, Snow Runts, Ponyard, Nessa again. Ooh, what Corona? Do we get another rare slot for some reason? No, we do not. So, um, I feel like hit-wise, 
okay or actually no like high in quantity um as far as the quality maybe a little, little more to be desired definitely in the second box uh but we got a few galarian galleries in uh you know the uh what was it dancy soul rock Elect uh, electivire and then oracorio from the first box we got a lapras i do like this lapras art uh paris which is okay <laughs> Double color S for some reason. And then this is probably our biggest hit, the Deoxy V Max. I love this. I don't know. I feel like Orb Beetle and Deoxys is just a really cool pair. Uh, if tag teams were to ever come back, I feel like they could make some really fun stuff with these two. And then the promos. I like the promos. I like the dogs, but it's just not there for them in the TCG. Just really overprinted. Same thing with, um, what is it? The uh, Eternatus. You're just so many promos of it you know they never made them chase which i feel like they deserved it they kind of had it in base sword and shield with the gold version but then it's like well you can have the regular one as a promo so it's readily available zishin was very playable so that made it you know good to have a promo but just the collectability isn't there which is a little disappointing but uh Oh, we're on we're very much on a tangent, but that's going to be it for me today. Big shout out to Richard Omega for uh, letting us do this break on his behalf. And as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe to support the channel. I'm Juan Turtle. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.